Woo! I'm back. When was the last time I uploaded two videos in a day? Probably like three days ago, a week ago. Regardless of that, we're back with another banger video with another Muay Thai reaction. If y'all don't know, if y'all have not been following the journey, subscribe. Go on my channel. See, I've been learning a lot of things about Muay Thai. Samart, Bokao, Senchai, you know what I'm saying? About the real, real OGs. Lerdisla, or is that Lerdisla? Lerdzilla, Lerdzilla, Lerdzilla. Now, this was a, it's another Muay Thai fighter that was recommended to me by when I'm out, you know what I'm saying? I don't know if he subscribed or not, but my boy John Jamin, this this one's for you. He he requested me to react to this one a long time ago, but you know I reacted to the other one. So Somrak, I'm hearing that he was the the teacher. Um, like he taught Senchai, or they were in the same gym. That's what I'm hearing. So if he taught Senchai, and I watched Senchai clips before, he's goaded. You know what I'm saying? Senchai is really like that. So if he taught Senchai, would he should technically be goaded as well. Mesmerizing technician. Enough of the talking. Let's get into the video. Let's see what he's really made of. Let's see if he's if overrated or he's worth the hype. Was he a boxer too? Because one thing I realized about most of these Muay Thai people, they would actually, like most of the ones I reacted to, at least, the Muay Thai fighters, they would do well as boxing. Like they could, they, they could really become boxing world champions. I think I saw something about him fighting in the Olympics, if I'm not mistaken. Was it him or someone else? The thing about these fight, Muay Thai fighters, they don't look like they could fight, but that's the one you should be most scared of. The one you should be more wary of is the one that does not look like you could fight. That's one that will really give you a real ass whooping. Okay. They have good, good dodging too. Most of them I reacted to have good defensive technique. I'm not gonna lie though. I think Lerdis Lerdzilla was the one with the most defensive I've seen. He was like, like he just moved. It's like it's like it's nothing to him, he's just moving, but Sumrak is looking good too. His face is calm, level-headed. He's doing the same thing. Hey. This music is kind of fire. Damn. What was that? That boy gave him a double elbow. Why do like I do? I I, I saw a comment on um, someone comment on my channel it said the reason why they look more relaxed and calm is because they start fighting from when they're little kids. And when you have that much experience under your belt, it's like. Everything will look like it's slow motion to you. Like it's just like it's just like another day in the office, just chilling. Rope a Full counter. I've never seen a full counter for kicks. But that's the same thing Larcilla was doing. Kicking down their knees. Smiling is crazy. Is the music too loud? My triple. I need to understand the 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 technique behind the kicks, because I'm not a Muay Thai fighter. I'm a, more of a boxer. I like boxing. So the kicks, I really don't understand how, I guess like most of them, they, I don't know, I presume they'll get the power from the ground, like, you know what I'm saying? The, the turn of the hips, that's where they get the power from. So relaxed, cool, calm, 
collective. Those knees hurt, bro. That's legal? Elbow to the back of the head. Whoa, what's that boy? What gave him an upper upper elbow? Not upper cut, upper elbow. Damn. Taunting him while dodging all his punches. In a situation like this, fighting a concentrated master, the worst thing that you could do is get agitated. Because you're gonna get your ass whooped. Ooh, spinning kick. Now I see where Sencha got all the spinning kicks from. You see how you see how he, he went low? Just okay, no. Never mind. Y'all see how he went low? Right there. So bait the body and then go for the head. Right there. And then whoa, that punch had was that a backhand punch? Good body punches. Do Muay Thai fighters get knocked out? I rarely see them get knocked out. That boy said, get your ass up. He said, back, back up. Sit down. Oh, that's where Sencha got that from too. Sencha did that a lot from the clips I've seen. Maybe, I don't know, upper elbow. Spinning kick. Spinning back kick. And apparently most of the people that the, the, these old Muay Thai fighters fight, they're all war class fighters. Let's go spinning elbow. You never see that elbow coming from nowhere. Dodge them. Are the ropes not a little bit loose? Or am I tripping? Good movement. Good movement. Good footwork. This footwork is amazing. Rope a dope techniques. Good too. Damn! You said, get your ass up. You said, get your ass back. Back up. A double punch. Blocked it. Countered. Damn. He had a two piece coming in. He blocked it. Okay. Imagine he didn't block that left hand, that right hand coming in. Some of them just like that. That's another thing about fighting so many fights. You just have the instinct of knowing when a punch or a kick is coming or an elbow. The instincts are just there. You were able to read them before they could they could actually do it. Damn, bro. Like those knees had to hurt. I think yep. Ooh. You need like a very strong core to take punches like that. Kick their knee to Damn. Spinning back kick. Upper elbow. Fighting while moving backwards. You see you see what he did right there? He did just step back with the same foot. He he switched his stances. He switched his stances to step back. He switched his stances to step back. Try to do the Yeah, 
damn. Like that elbow, you don't see it coming. He edits straight to the chin. They have good chins too. To eat an elbow, you have to be different. Say back up. That boy said back up. Little left of doubling up punches. Okay. Head body, head body combo. Damn, that was a nice combination. That upper elbow is thick crazy. That upper elbow is crazy. It's at the end of the video. Muay Thai Scholar. Go check him out. Go check him out. Ooh, what do y'all think? What do y'all think about Sumrank? I can definitely see, understand if he actually did teach Senchai or they went to the same gym. I could kind of see some similarities with their unorthodox techniques. Like the upper elbow, that's the first time I've ever seen that. The spinning kicks, like I've seen that from Senchai and all those things. But yeah, all around I'm seeing good kicks. Like like all the rest of the ones I reacted to, great defensive technique, great defensive slips, defensive, everything's good. That's another thing. With more, I thought you have more things to be to be worried about. You have to be worried about punches, kicks, elbows, knees. But boxing's only punches. So for them to be still be defensively, defensively intact or defensively sound, while still having to worry about you know elbows, kicks, knees, and punches is crazy to me. Really, really crazy. Cool, calm, collected. I'm seeing. You know what I'm saying he's very. He's cold as ice in there. He's just cool. And that I feel like when someone's just calm and you're just you're giving them everything and all, all they're just dodging everything straight face, it gets you more agitated, more agitated. That's the worst thing that can happen. Worst things happen. But yeah, comment what you'll think about Samrak. I feel like definitely would I put him above Samart? I think Samart is the number one I reacted to. Uh my ranking, I put Samart. Then I don't know who I'd put second. I don't know who I put second. Buakao Senchai. I put Buakao second. Senchai third. I'm not gonna lie, I'll put Lertilla above Sumrak. Just because Lertilla was just, I don't know. Maybe I mean maybe I'm tripping. Maybe I'm tripping. I, like once again, I don't really know Muay Thai like that. That is why I want y'all to give me some fighters to react to so I can learn more or technique breakdowns and all those things like that. Things like that. Things of that nature. But I feel like right now that's my that's my rankings of all the ones I reacted to. Samart, Buakao, Senchai, Litsilla, Samrak. Did I react to one more? I think I reacted to one more. I'm not sure. But anyways, regardless, let me know what y'all think in the comments. Um, If y'all want me to react to anything, just put it in the comments. I'll react to it. I'll check it out. Give me some recommendations, like, subscribe, comment. Please, please, please. I prefer comments. I want I want y'all to I want to see you're engaged. And if y'all like the content, feel free to subscribe. So you could be join the journey right now. So when I make it to the top, when I'm a top tier boxer, everything I mean top tier. I mean I do plan on going amateur boxing, but top tier YouTuber, yeah, I can say y'all were with me since day one. Okay. I appreciate the love, appreciate the support. I'm gonna see y'all in another. I'm gonna see y'all in another what? Video.